Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integral problem using the properties of the definite integral. The given question is integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. Let's take this as i equal to. We are going to apply the property integral 0 to a f of x dx is integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So wherever x is there, we have to replace with a minus x where a is the upper limit and in this problem the upper limit is pi by 2. So our i will become integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x will become sin pi by 2 minus x dx. Now sin pi by 2 minus x is cos x. So integral 0 to pi by 2 log cos x dx. Let's take this as the first expression and this as the second expression and we are going to add both. So 1 plus 2 will give us 2i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x plus log cos x dx. Now log a plus log b we can apply the log rule and we can write it as log a b. So this will become log sin x into cos x dx. Now we have a basic formula sin 2 x is 2 sin x cos x. So if I bring 2 here, sin x, sin 2x by 2 is sin x cos x. So, this sin x cos x, we are going to replace by sin 2x by 2. So, 2i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2x by 2 into dx. Now we are going to use the log rule again. Log a by b is log a. So log sin 2x minus log b. Now let's split this into two integrals. So 2i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2x dx minus integral log 2 dx. Now let's take this alone. Give substitution ts 2x. So dt will become 2 dx and whenever we give substitution we change the limit. We write the original limit x and we write the corresponding new limit for t. So the original limit x is from 0 to pi by 2 and t when I put 0 here it is 0 when I put pi by 2 it will become pi. So 2i equal to integral 0 to pi log sin t because 2x is t and uh, dx is dt by 2. So we take dt here and by 2 I am taking as a half outside the integral sign. The second part log 2 is a constant that can be taken outside. So we left with integral dx and we have limit 0 to pi by 2 here and the same limit for this also. Only for the first term we give substitution so there is a limit change but here it is in terms of x. Now we are going to apply another property. Whenever f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x, integral 0 to 2a f of x dx will become 2 times of integral 0 to a f of x dx. So here we have log sin t and this is like 2a. Let's take f of x equal to log sin t. We can also take f of t but doesn't matter. So when I try to find f of pi minus x, this will become log sin pi minus t. But 
log sin pi minus t is once again log t. So we get f of x itself. That is f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. It means two times of this. So I'm going to apply this property 2i equal to 2 times of whatever we have and the limit will become half. Here we see the property this is 0 to 2a and now it becomes 2 times of integral 0 to a. So half of this will be pi by 2. So this is 0 to pi by 2. And we have log sin t dt. And the last term minus log 2 as it is. And integral of dx is x. And we have to apply the limit 0 to pi by 2. Now we can cancel these two. Once again we are going to apply another property. There is the first property. Integral a to b f of x dx is also integral a to b f of t dt. So definite integral is independent of variable. So I can change this t in terms of x itself because whether it is x or t both are same. So 2i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2. We can write log sin x dx. It is not the substitution. It is just changing the variable. And the last term log 2, when we substitute the limit, it will become pi by 2 minus 0, upper limit minus lower limit. Now, we notice that this entire term is nothing but our question itself, integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx, integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. So, we can replace it by i. So, this is 2i equal to i minus log 2 into pi by 2. So this i we can take to the other side and subtract. So it will become 2i minus i equal to minus this pi by 2 I can write in the starting of the term minus pi by 2 log 2. So i equal to minus pi by 2 log 2.